So, Chrissy, you've been doing this for a while now. Um, and I'm sure many people come to you, the first thing, they've lost their sense of smell, it's very di uh, distressing, and they, they come to you and they, they want to say, say what, do I, what do I do? I want to do smell training, I hear it's really good. What's the first thing you tell them? Um, well, I mean, of course, I've had wonderful experience with smell training myself, so I'm very uh, much in favor of this. I think it's really good. I think it's useful on lots of different levels. But um, I'll give you the short, uh, the short version of, of how to smell train, and then we can maybe talk about some of the other intricacies a little bit later on. So I've already explained uh, how to make a smell training kit. Uh, here's the kit. Um, it's a great idea if you can keep it by your bedside, uh, maybe in a drawer or something where it's out of uh, sunlight. And when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed, spend a couple of minutes smell training. Um, and this is what you do. You take your first jar, uh, un uncap it, hold it up to your nose, And I want you to take some really tiny sniffs, not so much air that it goes right down into your lungs, but rather just enough to draw the air up into the place where the smelling goes on, which is right at the top of the uh, olfactory cleft. Uh, and that's really important. I think a lot of people um, don't understand the sniffing technique. So I want you to imagine just taking the tiniest little breaths. Um, somebody that I know refers to them as bunny sniffs. I think that's an excellent term. So uh, use the bunny sniffs and give it about 20 seconds. And while you're doing it, I want you to think about what you're trying to do. I want you to look for the smell. And I know that's a funny way of putting it because that's using sight as an analogy. But really what you want to do is try and find some kind of smell signal. Now, for some of you, that smell signal will be really weak, and for some of you, there will be no signal at all. But there is, that is not a reason to stop smell training. What you have to do when you're smell training is engage the higher part of your brain to remember what the smell might be like, uh, to think about the smell, to actively ask yourself, what can I smell now? And the way I uh, help people understand that is by saying, imagine if you were um, looking into a very deep well and you didn't know how deep that well was and you dropped a pebble in and you're just waiting to hear the sound of the pebble drop. And that's, that's how you have to engage with this little jar of, of smell. So um, yeah, so you want to do that for 20 seconds. You want to cap the jar and then you want to wait for a couple of seconds before you go on to the next one. So is it important to know what you're smelling? I think it helps. Um, and that's why I think it's important to use essential oils. If you have any at home that you loved to use before you lost your sense of smell, that's, that's a great reason to use them now. Um, some people don't necessarily have a good smell memory or have a relation, any sort of, any uh, way of remembering what these smells were like. And if that's you, I wouldn't stress too much about that. I would just say, when you go to your smell training pots, keep an open mind. And just, like I said, look for whatever kind of signal that you can get. What would you say the best number of, of smells to practice with is? Well, the original research called for four essential oils, rose, lemon, clove, and eucalyptus. But there's no reason why you couldn't have different ones or more of them and smell train more often during the day. People who've lost their sense of smell will often turn away from smell. They stop interrogating their environment for smell. So that means when they go outdoors, they don't ask themselves anymore, you know, what does this day smell like? Um, and I think that using the smell training kit is a good way of getting yourself back into this habit of saying, what does this smell like? 